Hello, I am Sarah from Homespun Childhood. I'm a former teacher turned homeschool mom of three, and today I'm going to share with you a review on Math with Confidence second grade. Here at Homespun Childhood, I share all things curriculum, books, uh, homeschooling, and planning even, so stay tuned. All right, so I have with me right here, Kate Snow's Math Curriculum, Math with Confidence. I have used um, Math with Confidence Kindergarten. We did not use first grade, and I picked up second grade because I really missed the simple games and the, um, like her warm-ups in here as well as the books that are selected. So let's jump into this. A little bit of background about Kate Snow if you don't know of her. She has been sharing math resources and ideas in the homeschool world for a number of years and a couple of years ago started releasing her curriculum, Math with Confidence. Kate Snow um, has a background in math and education um, with degrees from Harvard and so she is in a unique position to create a curriculum for homeschool parents with the education and the math background. So let's dive in. Math with Confidence is one of the most affordable homeschool math curricula out there. I want to say it's $42 for the guide and the book. And I really like it because it is open and go. You don't need a lot of manipulatives. A lot of the things that you need are household objects. The lessons are very straightforward and easy to use. They are written with the parent in mind, um, but it doesn't lack in content either. So this is a really great program if um, you are looking for something that's straightforward you can open and go it's in your budget maybe you feel overwhelmed by some of the other math curricula out there this one is really nice in that it does have the content but it's also just like streamlined so let's jump in all right so here is our instructor guide we have the table of contents at the beginning and the way that Math with Confidence is um, organized, and this is true across their grade levels, we have different units. And then within the units, the units are broken into weeks. And the weeks are then broken into five days, where the fifth day is an enrichment type activity and a read aloud related to the content with math. And so the different units for second grade are you're reviewing addition and subtraction, and place value, and then really solidifying your math facts, numbers to 200, solidifying your subtraction facts, graphs, mental math. I really like that the mental math is in here. Time, mental subtraction. So we do um, addition and then subtraction. Length, written addition, geometry and fractions, uh, written subtraction, numbers to a thousand, and then addition and subtraction uh, within a thousand. So let's keep going. There's a nice um, kind of introduction that explains the breakdown here, the two different types of lessons that we have four required lessons and one optional enrichment lesson. So if you do a four day school week, this is kind of already designed for that. We talk about the core lessons, the warm up component, hands on activity, workbook, enrichment. And then I like that they have these um, throughout the book, is my child ready to start this program? And then they also have kind of checkpoints like, are you ready to move on? How do, and here we go. How do I know whether to stick with a lesson or move on? So we've got these checkpoints at the end and they're not so much assessments as they are progress monitoring for you um, and your student. The materials, so for this curriculum, the materials that you need are base 10 blocks, small counters, they could be Lego. I mean, I love that she points out they could be beans or you know, you could also use snap cubes or something like that. Coins, play money, a clock with hands, a ruler, cards and dice, dry erase markers, and binder with page protectors for your different games. And then we jump right in. I love that it starts with review. A lot of um, homeschool curricula do not start with review or kind of end with this like nice slow pace. So we like that that's built in. And again, we're broken into those weeks. In the beginning of the week, we have an overview with the teaching it with confidence. So this is the, the note, the instruction for you as the teacher for this and then extra materials, and we jump into our lesson. All of the lessons have the same format. The lessons are all titled with the week number and then the day number. So this is week one, day one. We have our purpose and materials with this call out box here. The warm up work, it is scripted for you. The bold text in here is what you would be saying, and then there are some sample answers. 
we have lots of activity built into these um, lessons. There's different types of activity. There's games, there's movement, all different things. And then we keep going for lesson 1.2, 1.3, and then here is our enrichment in our review lesson for the first unit. We have the warm-up still, and then it talks about a picture book. We can use math, math to pieces, the art of problem solving. And then your enrichment activity is to create number riddles about a favorite collection. And then they have the answer key in here for the workbook, which I'll show you in a minute. The second grade workbook does have two workbook pages per lesson, which is... Um, I think the first grade, I know the kindergarten only has one. I think first grade also only has one workbook page. And then we are jumping into week two. So let's jump a little bit farther in. Okay, so before we jump into the unit four, which is subtraction facts and, and word problems, um, I wanted to show you what the checkpoint looks like. So we have here, it's a, literally just like a checklist for you, what to expect at the end of unit three. These are the things you would expect your child to be able to do. If they are not ready to move on, it will give you some ideas for how to practice. Down here, more practice. So I really like that that's built in there. If your child does not like assessments and tests and things, this is also another reason to choose this curriculum because it's very just, you know, it's about the learning and the focus is on the learning. And there are assessments in here for you, the parent, to kind of gauge where your student is, but there's not gonna be any, you know, official test taking. So then we have unit four, we have our unit overview, and then we have our week overview. And so with week nine, we're doing minus nine and minus eight facts. The teaching with confidence, how do we do this? Lesson 9.1 is use addition to solve the subtraction problem. So again, we're teaching the strategies through games Here's Difference War. I know a lot of folks really like Singapore math for the concrete pictorial abstract um, approach. And, you know, for what it's worth, Kate Snow also kind of follows that, right? So we have working with the manipulatives for the concrete. We have doing pictorial with our workbook. And then we also have abstract with the mental math and with our math algorithms. So we have take apart subtraction word problems. And then we are practicing more facts. And let's just flip to the end here numbers to a thousand. A lot of you might notice if you're coming to second grade for the first time that second grade is really a year of consolidation kind of across the different core content areas. There's not, you know, a huge new thing that's being introduced. You know, like in first grade we had double digit addition and subtraction. Um, and, you know, with reading, you're like really picking up reading. And then second grade is really kind of practicing those and consolidating those skills so that you really have them um, down pat. Not paying attention to the pages I'm flipping. These programs um, that Kate Snow has developed were also piloted by homeschool families for a full year. So there's been a lot of opportunity for homeschool families to kind of jump in and say, hey, look, let's change this up, um, which I think is great. All right, so unit 14 is the last unit in second grade. It's addition and subtraction to 1,000. Again, we have our overview. We have our week overview, and then we are moving in to our lessons. I love that there are lots of little tricks that are embedded throughout the curriculum. For example, if your child has trouble keeping the digits aligned in vertical problems, you can write the problems on a piece of lined paper turned sideways, right? Like this is a hack. This is a very easy hack that we can do. We don't have to go and buy extra things to do this. Again, we've got some pictorial work going on here after we've worked on it with the base 10 blocks, and I do highly recommend base 10 blocks. Um, they are a staple. Pulling in the subtraction, thinking about it in terms of money, in addition is with money as well, which I really like, that we're making real world applications there. Enrichment and review lesson here. Again, we have our purpose of the lesson, and then the book is Mapping Penny's World, and so you're going to be working on kind of mapping along with math, uh, with the math aspect of that. And then at the very end of the book, we have our unit four checkpoint. We have our complete memory work list. So this is awesome that we have memory work pulled in here. And in fact, I think I'm gonna add this to our work for this year. We have our complete picture book list here, material list, 
game list and extra game boards. Again, these are all games that she has developed. You don't need to go out and buy other math games. And then you have a lot of black line masters in here for the different charts that you might need throughout. I do wish those charts were perforated, but you know, that is what it is. Okay. So that is the teacher guide. Let me show you the student workbook. All right here is a Math with Confidence workbook. It's just the one book. It's a little bit thicker than previous years uh, because it's two pages per lesson for the child. It's also in color. The illustrations are straightforward. We also have our game boards like right in here. This is great. Okay, so here is climb and slide, right? We have shoots and ladders with addition. And then we have our practice problems. So this is a nice level of work to kind of check for understanding, to practice applying the skills. But I like that we also have, you know, all these games built into here. So one day's lesson, the way they have the pages identified down, down here, we have our week number 17, we have our day number three, and then A and B would both be for day three. So that, my friends, is Kate Snow's second grade Math with Confidence. If you have any questions about this program, feel free to drop them down below. I just love everything Kate Snow has to share and say, um, and I'll link some of her podcast episodes with the Homeschool Sisters below because those were also fantastic. Um, so yeah, that is all I've got for you today.